Yes, supervolcagma is much more massive than previously thought, the study finds. Analysis of two decades of seismic data has revealed that the upper magma reservoir beneath the Yellowstone caldera is twice as large and twice as fluid as previously thought. More molten rock lurk beneath the Yellowstone caldera, also known as the Yellowstone supervolcano, than previously thought, a new study reports. Located in Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming, the supervolcano is believed to have had its last major eruption about 640,000 years ago. Previous research has revealed that there are two large magma reservoirs beneath the caldera, one located just below the surface, and the other several miles below. The study, conducted by University of Illinois geophysicist Professor Ross McGuire and colleagues, involved analyzing 20 years of seismic data collected at the Yellowstone site. Incorporated into supercomputer models, the researchers explain that the ratio of molten rock to crystals in the upper magma reservoir is a reliable indicator of how close the supervolcano is to an eruption. Previous investigations indicated that the rock-to-crystal ratio in the near-surface reservoir was around 9%, a figure indicating that the volcano was far from the threshold required for an eruption. Professor Analysis McGuire and his colleagues, however, have found that the ration is likely much higher than previously thought. Compiling two decades of seismic data, the researchers' supercomputer models show that the upper reservoir is larger and more fluid than expected. Specifically, the team's analysis has shown that the upper reservoir is about twice as large as previous estimates, covering a whopping 383 cubic miles. And the rock-to-crystal ratio, they found, was more likely to be on average 16 to 20 percent, also double the previous estimate. However, the team noted, this does not mean an eruption is imminent, as the ratio is well below the threshold required to trigger a volcanic episode. The researchers write, crystal mobilization and eruption are particularly likely when the melt fraction may exceed a critical threshold marking the transition from a crystal-supported framework to a crystalline liquid suspension, which is accompanied by a dramatic decrease in viscosity. Estimates of the critical melt fraction range from about 35% to about 50% melt. Thus, our estimated melt fraction is substantially lower than would be expected if most of the Yellowstone Reservoir was in the eruptive stage of its life cycle. They added, even though our results suggest that the magma reservoir Yellowstone contains substantial melt at depths that triggered previous eruptions. Our studies do not confirm the presence of eruptive objects or imply future eruptions. Strain events such as new magma intrusions or tectonic deformations that can begin to mobilize and concentrate the magma are likely to be accompanied by a number of dynamic processes as evident from ongoing geophysical and geochemical monitoring.